ask you about the, you're saying you, you, you also are a producer. Uh, what are you working right now on your newest projects? As far as you know that you have this thing on you right now, um, burdening you sometimes. Well, my, uh, like, I, like I said this evening, um, this award comes in part to, through a, a, a relationship with a dear friend, Beau Marie St. Clair, who uh, lost her life to ovarian cancer on January 9th of this year. And uh, Beau Marie and I formed Irish Dreamtime after GoldenEye, my, my, my um, performance as James Bond. So we formed a company to make movies. And Irish Dreamtime, you know, The Matador, Thomas Crown Affair, so, uh, you know, to get this award uh, has has a deep meaning and a resonance because of uh, because of Bo Marie and our relationship as friends and partnership as producers. But you're working on something right now? Yes. Well, uh, my wife Keely and I uh, have joined a partnership not only as man and wife and mother and father to our sons, but we're going to continue with Irish Dreamtime. And uh, she's made a documentary and, uh, that's coming under the banner of Irish Dreamtime. And we're going to step forward and make movies together, hopefully. Okay. Um, yes, hi. Congratulations. And uh, you did mention Bond, and I wanted to just ask, as someone who made four Bonds, um, Daniel Craig has now made four Bonds, and there's so much speculation whether he should uh, continue with the role. As someone who's been there, do you think he should? <laughs> I think he definitely should. <laughs> I think he's a magnificent Bond, Daniel, and he really uh, owned it and was dynamic and came on the stage at a time where it really needed to be uh, invigoratingly, uh, just brilliantly so he did it. So, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm just a, an audience member now. I'd love to see him go again at it. Hello, Mr. President. Uh, well, if I if I look at your resume on the Wikipedia, it says uh, pre-bond, bond, and, and the post-bond uh, periods. Well, uh, my question would be: uh, Does this period change your uh, dreams as an actor? Do you still have dreams? Oh, I still have dreams. I think we almost have dreams. Uh, it's. Uh, it's what makes uh, life so exhilarating. Um, uh, you know, I've been an actor all my life, and I, at this point in my life, I'm not sure what else to do but to continue to be an actor. So I have many dreams. I am a painter also, so I have dreams of painting, and I have dreams of writing, and dreams of being an actor. Martin Campbell and I are going to start a film here in January, and uh, this will be our third collaboration. So that's uh, that's where I'm at right now as, a, as an actor. When you see the clip, when when they show this reel with the, yeah, when they show the reel with clips from uh, your career, I mean, what do you think? Were the films that you do you remember all these films, and are there some that you go, oh, wish I hadn't done that, or are there some you're especially proud of? Mm. <laughs> I've enjoyed the journey all the way, and every job has had uh, great meaning to me, and uh, kind of haikus of my own life, and a period of friendship, and relationships, and family, and um, I have just reveled and relished being an actor. Hopefully the work uh, maintains, you want it all to, always to be a success, sometimes they're not, but you move on, and you move on fast and you don't dwell on it. But, uh, so, um, I, I, I was really listening to Susanna Baer, who was so beautiful and eloquent tonight, so I was quite captivated by what she had to say. She's a brilliant director, a great lady, a beautiful woman. And then I was kind of worried about what I was going to say, so my life kind of flashed before me there without any real acknowledgement. So today, uh, Trina Durholm said to some of us that when she was on stage with Meryl Streep in Berlin, so that was one of the greatest moments in her life. And do you share this opinion, or do you have some specific person 
you acted with who was very important or it was a very special collaboration for you? Well, Mamma Mia was uh, an absolute delight and to work with Meryl Streep was definitely a, a highlight of my career in making the because it was such a beautiful collaboration of artists and um, you know the, just the company of actors uh, is so exhilarating and to come together on a project and the hopes and the passion and the dreams and the expectations you have before making the movie and um, you know it's intoxicating can you keep going back to that same well but Mount Street uh, a great place in my heart for Meryl, as an actor and as an audience member. Uh, yeah, yeah another question. Uh, you come back to TV next year with the new show The Sun. Can you tell us something about this production of AMC? I've been looking at going back to TV and trying to find uh, a, a niche for myself uh, because the TV is so potent and exhilarating and intoxicating right now in our lives, everybody is, is watching it, and the, the, the material is always so, uh, uh, just has a complexity, and you get to spend time with the characters. So this book by Philip Meyer came into my life, and the character of Eli McCullough. Uh, I wasn't expecting it, but it came up uh, with about five weeks before shooting, and I had the most magnificent time. It comes out on AMC. Uh, next year, sometime, we shall see. I had a great time in Texas, Austin, Texas. Um, so when you were speaking tonight, when you were accepting this award, you sounded not only as an actor, but almost like a statesman, a statesman uh, having accomplished almost everything in the film industry. Are you not temp tempted to uh, enter the field of politics, especially given that you have some background as a Prime Minister in Roman Polanski's film. I'll just stick with acting. Really. I, just, I like being an actor. And, uh, um, uh, the, the, the Roman Polanski film was definitely one of those films I, I, that uh, had deep resonance for me to, to work with Mr. Polanski and Ewan McGregor on this Robert Harris book. Uh, it was just it came at the right moment in time, and uh, Roman Polanski's movies I've grown up with. Uh, so, uh, but no, I'll just stick with acting. Where's it all gonna go? Uh, congratulations. Uh, uh, today's uh, your award is uh, for me, connecting with uh, reflection about life and uh, your career. So, uh, how uh, your thinking about being a an actor was changing. Sorry? What? What? Uh, what uh, how, uh, how your uh, thinking about being uh, an actor was uh, changing? Uh, oh, it, it doesn't get any easier, that's for sure. It's just really, every time it just feels like the first time being an actor. It's, it's mildly terrifying and it can paralyze you and my dear wife Keely has to listen to the same regurgitated nonsense of me kind of getting anxious about the role, how one's going to do the role. <coughs> and as it should be, really, because uh, otherwise there's, there's no blood in the veins or, you know, thumping of the heart. Uh, and once you commit to, to, the, to the text and the, the director, then you, you, you do the best you possibly can of making it real and palpable. And so for me, it's, it's always ongoing. We just try to do the best you can. Is that it? Well, listen, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much. That's it. I, I just uh, wanted, wanted to ask uh, the last question. Go ahead. Of course. Um, uh, as, as a producer, what do you think, uh, what uh, happened uh, after the Brexit? Uh, do you have the plan B? Uh, how do you continue the cooperation uh, with European cinema? <clears throat> well, tonight, 
here in Poland, and with the celebration of this award, this has really put a, a spring in my step, and it's a vote of confidence to go forth and uh, really investigate the next years to come as an actor. And uh, so it's, it's, it's very hard to plan. You, know, you can only really just deal with the work at hand and the choices that you have. But um, tonight's a special night, and this is a great award to get. I'm deeply honored and over the moon happy to be with everyone. So thank you.